Firefox, and my Guinness World Records title is the most followed female broadcaster on Twitch. I think my presenting style and how I broadcast myself on Twitch is pretty much my own personality. I'm really weird, uh, I'm really strange. I don't know, I try to just make my community really welcome and a safe place that they can go and hang out and just be weird because I'm weird and I like to accept people that are weird. My first gaming memory or my earliest fondest gaming memory would have to be back on DOS. I was way too young to be playing DOS games but my first memory had to be Wolfenstein 3D for DOS or Commander Keen, Crystal Caves, all of those games were the first games that I ever played. I had always wanted to do something with YouTube, but I didn't really know anything about it. And I worked in retail for a really long time, and I loved people. I took two years of computer programming, but I realized that I didn't want to be stuck in an office all day. So when I started dating my boyfriend a couple years ago, he had already been established and been doing it for six years, and asked if I had ever thought about it, and I'd never even heard of Twitch at that point. So I started broadcasting, and I would take what I would broadcast and upload it on YouTube, and I fell in love with it. When I started to feel like it could become an option for me to do full time, and this was after doing a series called Maya Night with myself, uh, Tom Syndicate, Captain Sparkles, and then Jericho, and it started to take off. My channel really started to do a lot better and I was getting a lot more attention, so I figured I was earning just enough that I could probably quit my part-time job and still be able to pay my bills, and that's when I decided to go full time. My schedule, I try to make it every single day. Um, I try to take a day off just for sanity reasons, but I try to stream every single day. I usually spend my mornings making videos for YouTube because I have two channels, and then I spend my nights streaming on Twitch, so pretty much every single day. The games that I like to broadcast the most right now would probably have to be Fallout, of course, uh, Minecraft, Counter-Strike, I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> I started playing Fallout 3 um, way back when it was on Xbox like a long time ago and I didn't actually start broadcasting Fallout until Fallout 4 came out. So when the day that Fallout 4 came out I played it for 19 hours on stream straight. I tried to do a 24 hour stream but I couldn't quite make it. But I love the concept of just being completely open world. You can stray away from the main story and just go do side quests and a lot of them are ridiculous and really fun. Dude, this feels awesome. This feels like actually fall out, but without the chance of being killed by rad scorpions and crazy, crazy things. <laughs> this feels awesome. I feel like when I first started playing games in high school and I first started gaming, it wasn't as accepted as it is now. I, I kind of kept it to myself because I, I felt like I wasn't really accepted in the space. And of course, there's still issues with it. There's still issues with you know, women in gaming, but I feel like it's becoming more and more acceptable. There's more and more female broadcasters, there's more and more people, uh, females on YouTube and in esports, and I think we're kind of taking over. I never thought that I would have any sort of Guinness World title at all. I've just sort of amassed this amazing group and community of my Fox family, and I never thought that this would be a thing. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't really thought about breaking other records, but I feel like I feel like once this comes out, I'm gonna look through it, I'm gonna find some gaming ones, and we're gonna try something.